Is it worth it for politicians to campaign on TikTok? Well, we got an early answer to that question in the California primary for the state's open Senate seat. That race featured social media star Katie Porter. Even as some lawmakers have pushed bills that could limit the app in the US over national security concerns connected to its ownership by a Chinese tech company, more than 170 million Americans still log into the app monthly. Now, Katie Porter is one of the rare politicians who knows how to go viral on TikTok. She speaks the language of the internet, leans into memes, and gets her fans fired up. She racked up twice as many views on TikTok as her key rival in that Senate race, Democratic Representative Adam Schiff, despite posting half as many videos. And Porter was polling well ahead among young voters under 40 going into the primary on March 5th. Still, she finished a distant third. The culprit was voter turnout among those young people that supported her online. Only 10% of people who voted in the primary were under 35, while 47% of the electorate was 65 or older. For Democrats in particular, young voters have been key to wins in both the last presidential election and the midterms. And there are signs that fewer are planning to vote in 2024 than they did four years ago. So while it's important to reach Americans where they are in social media, you also need to get them to actually show up on election day.